What is up guys, this is DT Ninja here to bring you my latest Bleach live reaction. This is chapter 630 for Bleach. Bleach chapter 630. Yes guys, chapter 630. Uh, we got our Zero Squad members here. Obviously Ichibe and Oetsu, some of my favorite Zero Squad members. Now, I'm not counting them out, even though... You know, supposedly Warweld is now part of the Soul Palace now. The Soul Palace is now Warweld. I'm not counting these guys out. I think they're going to make a surprise return. Uh, you know, never count characters out that supposedly have died or not been spoken of death, right? So uh, definitely uh, keep them in your minds. I think they're going to come back and surprise us. Uh, but anyways, after last week, last week's chapter was pretty, pretty nice. Um, I like last week's. It could have had a little bit more, but it was a great setup chapter. We had Ichigo, uh, Ichigo's group now facing with uh, Asuka Naklavar. So now we're faced uh, here, and it was it was uh, Grimjow that was, you know, attacking Asken. Uh, straight head on, and then we had Baz B on the foothold of the castle. Yo, he's already at the castle. We could just tell what's. I mean, we could just guess what's gonna happen. He's gonna go after Hoshwell first. You know it. So I cannot wait to read this chapter of Bleach. All right. So the chapter title: The Twin Twilight. All right. Grimjow suddenly attacks Naklavar, a skilled hunter able to corner the enemy with one attack. Alright, so it looks like Grimjow's there. First one out. Grimjow, what are you doing? Jeez. Shut up, Kurosaki. I don't want to be told by him. <laughs> Asking Naklavar is actually running. He's running away from me. From them. <laughs> it's funny. And Grimjow's like, What the hell are you doing? You let him escape. I said, Shut up. Wait, bastard. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, and Naklavar responds, If I w I'll wait if you promise you won't kill me. I never said I'd kill you. In other words, if you're weaker than me, it's only natural that you'll die. I knew you'd say that. The hell I'm gonna wait? Did you come here to fight? Didn't you come here to fight? Why are you running away? I didn't come here to fight. I came to kill you. I just wanted to kill you quietly. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty funny. He's got like the the hand gestures. I came here to kill you quietly, you know? <laughs> Who says that? I wanted to kill you quietly, like a ninja. Okay, that's very interesting. So you got this hard-headed, badass character like Graham Jow, you know, up in, in your face. And, you know, acting Naklavar's like, I wanted to kill you with style, you know, quietly. <laughs> without, you know, you even knowing. You weren't here from the start anyway. Why did you show up in the first place? Me? I'm Kurosaki's enemy. Really? Great. Then we're on the same side, aren't we? Let's kill Kurosaki together. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's good. It's pretty funny today. I don't know why. Just... <laughs> The way he's acting is freaking hilarious. Stop blab- stop you blabbering idiot. You can't keep running anyway. So, uh, Grim has got his claws out. He's about to- he's about to attack. Yo, yo, Kubo bringing it back with Grim Jow. I'll catch you first and kill you! Yo, and he's dashing! Okay, now we're getting a fight. And he's still running away. Askin's shown running away. And so, and so. Yes, all the Schutz Staflin have been dispatched in five directions to search for the en enemy. The Schutz Staflin, does that mean the elites? I wonder if that means the elites. Something different inside the normality. The Twin Twilight. 
Okay, so it shows Hoshwell talking to some guy with a mustache. Uh, maybe, you know, some soldier. Wait, you said in five directions? So the Stutzstaffelen you referred to include Udi Ushida? Yes, his majesty ordered me to do so. Where did he go? Ah, Udi Ushida-sama went to the second asked follow him. Eh? I can't leave Warwelt. Follow him and let me know right away if he does anything that is not part of our orders. Okay, guys, here it is. You guys remember in volume 63 where we have uh, we have Hoshwald and Udiu confrontation. He knows that he's up to something. He he's regretting his decision, and he knew that he was going to you know make a move or something like that. And Hoshwald wanted to keep an eye on him. But now Udiu's off on his own. He's off on his own. So this is where Hoshwald is a little you know hesitant here. And he also says, I can't leave Warwell, which is also very interesting. I was careless. Damn, Hoshmalt's actually, you know, regretting something here. I shouldn't have permitted him to take action alone. There are no stern ridders here to watch him. It's easy to be assigned a mission if you're acknowledged as a Stut Straflin. What are you doing? Go! Yes, yes, sir. Alright. Yo, he got burned in his eye. Yo, is that Baz B? Yo. Yo, it is. It's Baz B. Are you that worried about Udi Ishida? What are you doing here? Baz B, what was that for? Before saying that, shouldn't you be surprised that I'm alive? Okay, things about to get interesting here. Wow, Kuba wasting no time. Hey, burner finger one, yo, yo, burner finger one, taking on Hoshwald. Although Hoshwald just grabbed him with his bare hand, it looks like he's pushing him off. Oh. Oh, what the hell just happened? So he he's brushed him off and he hit him he hit him with his he hit him with something. What is that? Is that his foot? Or is that I'm trying to figure out what he hit him with. He hit him in the face. Oh, okay, that's a sword. Okay, so he hit him with the 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 the, the end of a sword right in the face okay but he ripped he ripped through his okay so Hoshwald no longer has his coat on he burned through his coat and what's interesting about this guys is you know the the stern ritter the the Quincy themselves have this symbolic you know cross and you know Basby just burned through that entire uh, coat, meaning, you know, he's no longer wanting to be part of uh, Quincy itself. So that's very interesting. Uh, and Hoshwald is there with that glare in his eye. Something is about to go down. Alright, so we see the castle. I see your wounds weren't caused by the enemy, but his majesty... You weren't chosen. Wait a minute. Wait. Something. I see. Your weren't your wounds weren't caused by the enemy, but his majesty. So his majesty actually gave him the marks. I only you all were chosen. Only you all were chosen. The others and Ashwaden were used on them. I'm 
they were all killed. The ones that could hide from the light lost their Volstending power. And the ones that who couldn't lose their lives. I see. That's too bad. Too bad? Don't kid me. You knew about this, didn't you? Why do you want to know? If I said I didn't, would you believe me? I would, because we're friends, aren't we? Whoa, whoa, Baz B's actually calling him a friend? Thought they were comrades. Jugo, right, he does call him by Jugo. That's right, he calls him by his first name. Baz B. So they're friends. This is interesting. Call me by my name. Call me Baz. Like you used to. Yo, this is interesting. Burner finger two. Damn, he's got two fingers out now. Look outside. I guess talking will be useless. Night will come soon. Night will come soon. Interesting. When His Majesty sleeps at night, you and his powers are swapped. Whoa! That makes sense! So Baz is actually telling us, we all knew they were connected, but here it is. When his majesty sleeps at night, you and his power are swapped. I'll kill his power together with you, you traitor. Am I wrong, Jugo? Whoa. A backstory? Yo, finally. Yo, Kuvo! Finally! Baz backstory! A scene he saw a long time ago. Wow! 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 That chapter was freaking godly. I loved this Bleach chapter. Yo, finally, Kubo! With some sort of backstory on one of the Stern Ritters. Yo, and Bez V and Jugo are friends? Oh, man. I don't know how I didn't see this. Jugo, he always called him Jugo. Not Hushwell. So, this means they were friends back then. And something happened that caused them, you know, to to stop being friends apparently uh, but yeah this chapter was freaking awesome the whole idea now that Basby and you know Jugo or Hajbalt is now you know at each other's fists they're fighting and apparently Juha's weakness is when he sleeps Hajbalt becomes Juha apparently his power and his swap because they're connected so this is very interesting uh, very, very interesting, Kubo. I really liked even the little panel at the very end. Uh, thank you, Kubo. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed my live reaction, and as always, have an awesome day.